Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to RimWorld. We are still in the middle of a toxic fallout, uh, which is not great. That probably means I'm going to turn on these lovely things. Oh wow, there's got to be a quicker way to do this. I'll just do that. That's not the quicker way, but it's the lazy way. We have Sylvia and Cecilia that are off on some adventure. Now I worry that it's going to get cold. Because it's minus two here. But I don't think I can pull them back even if I wanted to. Which does seem kind of dumb. Actually, now I think about it. And I could make them rest? Make them rest? Stop them? Is, is there actually a way of stopping a caravan from going? Because I'm worried that it's going to drop really fast and they're going to get hypothermia. Oh, can I just literally do that? Oh, thank God for that. Um, yeah. I'm going to pull them back. I only say this because I was playing on my own at one point and it got to a certain like level and it got really cold. And... The they kind of died. And I don't want that to happen to Sylvia and Cecilia because they're my two main fighters, so I don't want to risk it. Because, um, I see, it's getting really cold. That's... Uh, I don't think... If they were wearing parkas and proper gear, I'd be a little bit more inclined to believe they were going to survive. But because they're wearing armor, I've noted that armor has terrible thermal insulation. Uh, that kind of armor anyway, the plate armor. If it was um, recon armor and things, it, they might survive better. But yeah, it's minus 12. Uh, so if they aren't experiencing problems, they're going to start experiencing problems soon, I feel. Let's just hope. Let's hope and pray that it all works out, hey? Hopefully this toxic fallout will bugger off, because all we've got to eat at the moment is uh, the insect meat from that infestation on the last episode. Fun. A dead thing in the. A dead guinea pig? Did a guinea pig die? How did that happen? Where did we kill it? I think I vaguely remember saying guinea pig needs to be guinea pig soup. Oh no, it was toxic buildup. Killed it. What the hell? How did it get toxic buildup in here? How did it make it to the bed? Hmm. Oh. Let's, uh, let's. Let's see if we can fix this roof. One of the theories was that it had. It's sandstone. It is sandstone. Too far away. Another thing I'm going to do is make sure there's an indoor path from here to here. So, whoop, oh, hello, that wasn't supposed to be there. Get rid of that. Hmm. I'm kind of worried that somebody's going to get sick and die of bloody toxic buildup. How about that? Are these two moving again? Hmm. Minus five outside still. I'm getting kind of worried, guys. I'm getting kind of worried. They're kind of like at the point where they're halfway from everywhere. It may have been better off making them go to the, the camp. We've got nine days to get do the quest. But it is winter. And traveling at winter is just dumb. I don't even know why I thought it was a good idea. I've, I've had too many times where I've gone, oh, it's winter, we'll be fine. And then they've died of hypothermia and stuff. I, I think I just wasn't paying attention at the end of the last episode. And then I looked in today and I was like, what? Why did I do that, you moron? That happens more than you'd think. I play this game when I'm tired, things just go horribly wrong. The way of the world. All right. Yes, there it is. Good. It was too wide. That was the answer to the question, which means that now the heater should indeed actually warm this place up. Better than it would if there was a hole in the roof, let's put it there. Uh, and our rice plants in here are growing? Okay, so we should have enough to hopefully tide us through. Because the kibble should be enough for the animals, I guess. But again, doesn't kibble require root or like something that isn't 
Uh, yeah, it requires raw food. Uh, meat and hay. Okay. Well, we don't have any hay, so that's great. Uh, <laughs> I thought it could use, uh, like, rice and stuff as well, but apparently not. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll find out. Why does it seem really dark over this side of the base? Uh, let's just build a copy. Let's build a light over there and it'll, it'll light it up a bit. It's really dark just in this corner. I have no idea why and how I've never noticed that unless something's got broken, which. There could have been a light there. Oh, when they destroyed the. Uh, when they attacked our defenses and blew holes in the walls, it probably took out one of the lights or something. That's, that's usually how it goes. omzi has been outside quite a while now. Is he okay? No, toxic buildup initial. He should be alright. Have we run out of cloth? Is that when all of these uh, carpets have been done? Wow. We didn't have as much cloth as I thought we did. Still need to upgrade these damn doors. Uh, well, if anything, I could probably swap the granite door for a wood door here. I also don't know why it's, it's up and over like that. I don't quite understand why I did this. And it, it's like it's an annoying... Thing. Doors minus one twenty one. Oh, I can probably not get rid of that one. Then, if we build a normal wooden door here, it at least looks better. I was entirely sure what I was getting out with that, but Oof, now it's all twelve degrees. Hey, the visitors' chambers are uh, would be mysteriously warm for a change for the first time ever. Ideally, I do need to get some sort of heater over here, because I think these bedrooms... Now these bedrooms are okay. These have all got vents. Hmm. Yeah, it's literally it's just the storage room... Uh, storage rooms and the prisoner cells that are just freezing cold. Oh, and the money room. Money. Oh, wait. When did the toxic fallout end? I missed that. Uh, awesome. We survived. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. We did survive, alright. Hey, look, there's loads of metal there. I don't know what that's from. But while everything's dead, I'm going to make the most of it. Ooh. There's a shield core. Why haven't we picked that up yet? Right, uh, let's unlock all the animals to... Oh, you're all haulers. That foal is not a hauler. Uh, he will be soon. A hauler. Animal, alpaca, alpaca, al boomalope, and mega sloth. There we go. All you guys go outside, and then everyone else is haulers, so they can, they can go around whenever they want. Let's make sure that our people. Yeah, unrestricted. Good. And the, I guess I don't remember constricting my people to inside and trying to toxic fallout, but sometimes I do it and forget about it, and then I'm like, why are you not going outside, you fools? And it's like. Problem is, all the grass has died, so uh, old Sid's going to be hungry for a little bit. Ooh, shields. Build wearable shield gear. Useful. I'm going to research auto door so I can finally get that done. <laughs> I think we can now build shield belts. I think they're here. Fabricator? No. Are they at the smithy? is definitely being blind right now. What the hell? Oh, is it the... Aha! It's at the machining table, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Uh, a shield belt. What do we need for a shield belt? Two components? Jesus. 50 steel and 20 plasteel? Frickin' hell, that's an expensive expansion for to your defences. Admittedly, I do have spare plasteel right now. Uh, and Mr. Cubicle could do with a very nice shield. Will allow him to, uh, yeah, so I am actually going to make one of those. It's probably worth it. I mean, admittedly, eventually they're going to start attacking me with shield belts, but I'd rather have a shield belt to defend myself than, uh... Yeah, 
actually don't want to shred mechanoids before I build the shield belts and hopefully Ryan will get on that at some point. Alright, my phone went off and it was bloody Warhammer. That's not, that's not very uh, useful or interesting. I was like, is that important? Nope. I swear to God, you sign up to a Warhammer uh, email address and they just send you spam. It's good spam though, because it's got good pictures on it, and that's a, uh, you know, sitting there staring at it. I leave, I'm going to leave this on for a while. Normally I'd turn it off and be like, oh, it's a waste of time, but... Um, especially since uh, this rise up here seemed to work, but that was a very small toxic fallout, all things considered, so... Maybe I shouldn't count my blessings just yet. The main advantage to the hydroponics is it does actually increase the speed. So this will grow quicker than this, but here there is more of it, so I guess it cancels that out in a way, if that makes any sense. I'm hoping we build the shield belt and then Cubicle will just go and pick it up. I'm also hoping nothing exciting happens this episode. On the plus side, Sylvie and Cecilia have not had frostbite or anything. It is zero degrees outside. I think it gets colder, maybe, as we go up here? Ah, oh, we don't have much time to get back up there. Seven days. Oh, God. I might just not. I might just have to fail it, which is which really sucks, but I really don't want to travel in the winter. Because if someone dies out there, there's not much you can do about it. Like, at least here, if they die here, I can try and save them with, like, medicine and the hospital and stuff like that. But if they die out there and, like, frostbite, it's just going to keep going. And then you pull them back and they just keep dying. And it's not, it's not pleasant. I'd rather fail a mission than lose, lose two of my fighters. There'll always be more missions. He says, hoping there's always more missions. What was that? Build complete, make shield belt. Okay, where did they, where's that shield belt gone? Hey, Cubicle, you want to go put that on? Sylvie's caravan has run out of food. Oh, well, well, you know. That could have gone worse, I guess. They're quite close. Yeah, they're quite close. They'll be all right. Damn, I did not prepare that caravan very well at all, did I? Jesus Christ. How much steel do we have left? Steel. 1,000 air yeah, loads. Fine. The main thing we need to do is try and get up the ranks when it comes to the royalty stuff. It means I really should accept that mission. Ugh. It's so good, like both, like the honor is amazing and also the reward is amazing. I don't know which one is a better one to pick. You should also remember that Heli Anwen has the ability to call squads of troops. So I really should accept this and just do it. And if we die, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, for no reason, since my flows have been targeted by Mechanoid Hide, Hive. Ten days. How many mufflows is it? Three mufflows. They're all going to require three medicine a day. Jesus. What's our medicine start looking like? 23? Uh... Am I even growing heel root here? I definitely feel like at some point I was growing heel root and now I'm not. You can't blow you can't grow heel root down here, can you? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> I'm going to convert. My heart, this is really, this is a really horrible way of doing this. Can I just do this and then go select plants to grow? I can. Heal root. There we go. Screw you, rice. I'm growing heal root. Uh, and then, how long we got left on that? Two days? I don't know how quick heal root's going to grow. 
Oh god, we don't have any cloth to make medkits either. Oh, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Maybe it's a bad idea. At least I've thought about this before accepting it and then going, oh damn. It's ten days, three... Three a day, I need at least 30 medicine. And that's assuming that the mechanoids don't just destroy me and I need medicine to... Actually heal my people. Hmm, so yeah, that, that would not be a good idea. Even though it would be risky and the rewards would be great. And they might drop medicine. Maybe we'll get a trader. Huh? Maybe we'll get a trader. I could I could risk it. I'm just gonna grow tons of it. More heal root up here, thanks. I cannot believe that would explain why I don't have that much heal root. Oh wait, I do, I have 25 and 25 and 3. Am I missing one of these growing parts being a No, I'm not. I must have deleted it accidentally. But we do actually have some down here, so then we just don't have cloth. Hmm. We'll get it set up anyway, whatever, it'll be fine. You can never have too much heal root. I may now, in fact, have too much heal root, but time will tell. In fact, can I grow cotton in this? If I may change the top ones to cotton, there you go. This can be a... Uh, <laughs> uh, this can be a place where we can grow stuff to make medkits. Um, Harvest all limited lifespan. Harvest shield, 10. Thank you, lifespan 64. That doesn't help me. 8 days. 8 days. And seven days, so the hero grows quicker than the cotton. That's giving things not that bad. We'll just see how it goes. Perfect. Kind of a surprise, we haven't had some form of raid. See how it goes, but then again, the toxic fallout may have skewed the uh, invasions and stuff. Plus, I think it was the last episode, wasn't it, where we had some crazy stuff going on, so... I'm sure we'll survive. Food is still looking a little bit dodgy. Not great. Ah. Yeah, that wooden door has increased efficiency significantly there, look! It's like, oh, oh, straight through. But we'll be doing auto doors soon as well. Get that sorted. People has got a shield belt. One of those chilled, laid-back episodes where not much is actually happening, I'm afraid. Three idle colonists? What is this? What is this? You telling me none of you guys can do... Wait, isn't Cecilia... A... Doesn't she do growing? Nope. <laughs> no, it does not. Not at all. No, I'm not entirely sure why Trig 2.0 does it, to be completely honest with you. Auto doors, there they are. Um, okay, next on the agenda? IEDs, no. Uh, then again, I've never actually used IEDs, they might be really good. They seem dangerous though. Maybe we could always make chocolate. Coca. <gasps> Gun links are really cool. Let's do that. The uh, recon armor, it's like a next step up in armor, and I'm going to have to take the plunge and just actually spend lots of resources on building people the armor, just so they can survive. Um, and, well, hopefully it keeps them alive for longer. Because obviously these helmets and things, these are these are terrible. Like, they're better than nothing, don't get me wrong, but the recon helmet's much better. It actually protects the the head a lot more, whereas these bullets can still hit them in the eyes and the, and the nose and the mouth. It just tends to stop them getting instantly brained by a sniper round through the, the through the forehead. 
Nah, food is looking very dubious right now. Husky is pregnant, please stop. It's gotta be the it's gonna be the animals that are eating all the damn food, isn't it? I'm kinda like, do I need this many animals now? But on the other hand. Boomalope is useful because the boomalope's giving me fuel and I can use that fuel later on or now. Like I could build a fuel generator and start using that straight away. But the horses, eh, or the huskies, eh. Because I have got a lot of haulers. Admittedly, if something, like, if I need something picked up from anywhere on the map, I can get it picked up pretty quick. A small army of haulers go out there and pick it up. Yeah. Like, if I want that corpse. Oh, I can get more hero out here as well, can't I? There we go. I've said this now, my point's not going to get proven, is it? Wait, is Sylvie going to go pick it up? No, no, she's doing the, she's doing the harvesting of the hero, it's fine. I don't know who Ryan is. I guess because he wasn't being hauled, Ryan was like, oh, I can strip that mech down. Never mind. <laughs> Makes perfect sense, isn't it, really? Hopefully we'll get some, is it steel? Yeah, it's steel. Not as good as plasteel, but we'll take it. Ah, the heater stays on at night for a little bit and then it turns off. <laughs> Bew! But I don't think it gets cold enough to where it's actually a problem, so I'll accept it. Need to get all these plants replanted, all these fields replanted, sorry. Still winter, I was kind of hoping it would transition to like spring and I could send them on the mission and still have enough time to do it, but I'm, I'm starting to just think that it's not going to work. Uh, there is another thing I could do though, except that other mission, because now I know I have heal root, I can do it with heal root. I don't, it doesn't need to be industrial med medicine, it just, that makes it better. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Uh, let's go. It's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Hi guys. Hey, do I have to feed you guys as well? Because oh, holy crap, what are you wearing? Bio-coded minigun? What are you wearing? Holy crap! Bio-coded cataphract. Cataphract helmet. A highly armoured high-tech helmet with a solid plasteel weave shell and indirect visual system for non-frontal view angles. It protects against all but the most powerful or luckily aimed shots. Wow. So you guys are all on loan to me now? Sweet. Pick a tomb, I mean pick a bedroom and you can uh, you can live there for a bit. Hey, those those guys are heavily armored. Oh, I mean he's got a pulse rifle, a charge rifle. That's not that like that's kind of like okay, but a minigun Jesus. I do have one question. Where the bloody hell are the muffalo? Oh, there they are. Found them. Found them, blood rot. Can I get somebody on that? Please? Like, right now? Because the last thing I need is uh, them dying straight away. Because that would be funny, but that's tragic all at the same time. Mr. Trigg, you never should have had inspired surgery. You're a damn soldier. Like waking up one day and being like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Mm. Uh, what are you going to do now? I need you to make sure that you fully end all of them. Yeah, I probably should move them closer to the base. Because the amount of time it's taking for them to be... Ah, still he's doing it good. It's okay, as long as it goes into... I just want to get the, the first one in so they they have the, the buffer. Good one, Miner. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. So now all we have to do is wait for the blooming... Uh, 
Max to arrive, which is going to be pretty damn terrifying. Let's put it there. I'm not looking forward to that bit. <laughs> Merely, we are coming up to near the end of the episode as well, which is a good chance we won't actually see it happen in this episode, and it'll be the next episode. But... Knowing my luck, they're going to attack up here, which is the weakest link in my whole defense system. I mean, I think it's a 50-50, because they've both got blocked entrances on them. Who knows? I guess there's only one way to actually find out, huh? Hope for the best. Oh god, Sunshine's eating all my meals. I just realised that we literally have no meals. Oh my god. I think my farmers suck. Oh, please don't eat raw food. God damn it. That's not good. <laughs> Can we get this cooked? Please? Why are we not making these in batches of ten? Oh. Why's Creepy Coffee not doing this? He's the better cook. Let's just suspend making kibble. I've got a funny feeling we're turning all of our normal food into kibble. Oh god, it's the bloody trees, isn't it? That's what's taking up so much time. They're trying to replant all the bloody trees. I don't even think we need to grow those trees anymore, to be honest. Ah, uh, we could probably cut it in half. Because I don't use that much wood. <laughs> it's just a shed full of animals. Hmm, okay, well, I'm probably going to have to end the episode here. Um, not much happened, I'm afraid. Uh, but nobody died, and we managed to, uh, hopefully we'll get this quest on the go. And the next episode should be highly exciting. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.